Hi Scorpios, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your September 2017 reading. I'm going to start out with the finance and career energy reading with the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. I'm going to combine this deck with the Rider Waite deck as we go through each step of the Celtic Cross reading before us. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign of Scorpio with clearly defined messages regarding Scorpio's finance and career energies for September 2017. Thank you. Whew. Okay, so the card representing your current life path here on Earth at this time, Scorpios, for some of you, not all of you, is the trapped card. So some of you may feel very trapped. Like you've had to stand your ground when it comes to career and finances. Know that this entire time the door on the back of the cage has been wide open. That you are not trapped. That you could leave a situation at any time you so choose. And it looks like with the crossed card movement that some of you are ready to get up and start moving. Away from that trapped cage. In your thoughts position. Know that you guys have the energies of the strength card. Maybe you're feeling pretty darn strong at this time, and that's what is allowing for you to release yourself from being trapped, to take the and make the movement, the moves, in a new direction. In your foundation, there's something that you guys are wishing for, and you do have the wishing well, so you have the ability to make a wish come true, just be careful with that card that sometimes that card says, be careful what it is that you're wishing for. So in addition to this Wisdom of the House of Night deck, I am taking a moment to combine the energies of the Rider Waite deck for further clarification. Please, Spirit, for those born under the Sun sign, Moon sign, and or Rising sign of Scorpios for career and finance. Yes, some of you are tired of being trapped. Some of you are coming to the realization that the door on the back of the cage is open and you are putting an end to something so that you can start something new in your path. The card crossing that is justice. Some of you may have to use a... Hmm. Well, this is a major arcana. So spirit is going to help for you to cut away from circumstances and situations that no longer serve you. And by moving forward, I believe you're going to find balance in your life once again. Contentment and fulfillment. In your thoughts position, know that you have the energies of the strength card to make the right choices when it comes to money and finances. When it comes to not having the right idea as to which way you're going you have the strength right now to figure it out how are where are you going to go how much are you going to make what are you going to be doing in your foundation wishing spirit saying it's important to wish for a new path to put closure to an old path and to realize that this new world path is going to be i feel great excitement Get excited because it's a new beginning for you that you should be wishing for, moving towards, and releasing yourself in the process of an old path that is no longer fulfilling. In the recent past or in the past, you may have been dealing with someone who was deceitful. And you decided to stop and look at things from every perspective before coming to that conclusion. And now... I can't help but say through some of you there may be court involved with finances that is helping you to move forward and to release yourself from a connection. I almost feel like it's just finances, it's not so much career, but then at some point you're going to have to step into a new path in career to figure out what you're going to do as you move forward. And again, this is something you should get excited about. I feel like you guys may already be excited because you're no longer trapped in a situation. In the next two to three weeks, Spirit's saying you're going to be very focused or you should be very, very focused on what it is you're putting closure to. Know that you're doing the right thing. This Ten of Wands is confirming that a path is over. There's no need to fight on that path anymore. Lay down that battle and focus on moving forward and what it is you want to wish for. In the next four to six weeks, 
what it was that, or you have control over what it was that was very shiny and attractive and deciding what it truly is beneath the surface. Being like the King of Swords and cutting away from maybe something that was only beautiful on the exterior, but when you got down beneath the skin, you learned that beauty was only skin deep. Getting to the truth of a situation with someone and telling that person or situation or people, whatever this is that looked attractive at first, that you will no longer take being trapped to them. You are cutting away from the path connected to someone or something, if it's an establishment. Spirit's asking that you remember this tombstone that says, do not forget. Do not forget where you've been and what you went through. And as you take this lesson with you, know that the wheel of fortune or the wheel of karma is turning in your favor. As you're focusing on a new direction and wishing and hoping for a new path, your hopes and fears is speaking of a passionate, new, exciting connection, a passionate, new, exciting home filled with family and friends and children and money. All kinds of fulfillment is what you're hoping and wishing for. And you've got the High Priestess of Earth guiding you. This is the High Priestess who's going to give you signs when it comes to money, when it comes to this new direction. And you've earned her assistance because the Hierophant is saying you guys have made it through some difficulty. You made it through a difficult path and he's saying congratulations. Take a new key into a new path with hope and faith that what it is you are hoping and wishing for with the wheel of fortune turning in your favor will come your way. Yes, the entire reading is being represented by the fulfillment card. This is what's going to happen or take place when you finally leave troubled waters behind. There will be fulfillment. In the next three to six months, be careful because Spirit's saying you may become back in denial about someone. It could very well be that this person is an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, and they're going to come running back in. They're going to have harsh words. They're going to try to confuse you and maybe even draw you back into a situation. And I think that's why Spirit's here saying, remember, the wheel of karma is turning in your favor because you escaped from a situation by which you felt trapped. Don't go backwards because the pain and the anguish of the past will come to you more quickly than you can imagine and put you right back to what you ran from before, what you hoped and wished to leave before. It will put you back in that situation and and it's it's only by denying yourself the truth that you could end up back there. Now in the first week and a half to two weeks from when you watch this video, you guys have the Emperor card. So this could be a judge, this could be a boss, this could be someone who's a little bit controlling, or this could be you guys just getting clear and logical and disciplined and focused when it comes to your paperwork, your direction, your needs, your desires. You have the energies of the Empress card. So in the next three months, Spirit's listening to the stars at your crown to help you to give birth to something brand new. This could be a new job, a new home, a new relationship, a child, whatever it is that you want to give birth to. There is going to be a money offer coming in, and this money offer could be putting you guys in a very good position financially. Even though you may be feeling down and out and sad and poor and depressed or whatever it is, know that you have the energies of the star card to hope, wish, and pray on a new direction. Learn from where you've been and what it is that's made you into who you are now and build something moving forward that's going to be much more prosperous and fulfilling. Use the energies of the Hermit card to understand that you are not trapped inside or outside or to a person or situation. That with the Hermit energies, you can figure out 
how to disconnect and how to get yourself into a very financially independent lifestyle or situation. Yes, you can bring yourself from heartache into a path of fulfillment. In the next couple few weeks, uh, you may be dealing with situations involving children or someone from your past. It's important to make sure that everything is fair and balanced when it comes to taking care of children and or finances. Somebody isn't opening up. They're not willing to share their heart, their soul, their emotions, or their money. Therefore, it's important for you guys to continue to move towards the Ace of Wands, which is a blessing from the universe, a new path when it comes to career and finances. There will come an offer that you will hear about. Don't be afraid to move forward. Don't be afraid of the unknown. Get excited about a new path because this is what the old path will always remind you of or should. There is a new offer that is coming in. Hmm. I don't know if this is love or money, but we'll just say there's going to be a new or very fresh offer when it comes to love or money, and you guys need to be like the Queen of Swords. You need to be clear about what is on offer. Tell whoever is offering that love or money that you are only going to accept whatever falls within your boundaries, your guidelines, your goals. If they don't match up to what it is you want, then they need to go. Spirit is working on, for those of you who are single, a new path in love being offered by the universe in the next couple few weeks. For some of you, it could be with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, I see Leo. Just be careful that this person doesn't have any substance issues and or isn't tied to someone else. You're going to find that as you move forward and away from painful situations and people that you're going to be very, very fulfilled and happy, free again. Yeah, there may be false promises being offered to you when it comes to... A home life, lust, passion, somebody's lying. Be careful for that in the next couple few weeks. In the next four to six weeks, and I know this is just for September, but some energies go over. It's important to know that you have the two of swords. So this is not wanting to open your heart or to make a choice, but the time has come to make a choice. So take off the blindfolds, do your research, and or look at the situation for what it is. You'll be wondering if you should give a situation another chance at some point, and that's up to you, but don't forget the pain that it put it through. Don't put you through. Don't forget that spirit's trying to remind you with a tombstone that says don't forget that this person left you with pain and anguish and frustration and then walked away without a care. That this person may have ended up fighting with you in a court battle that led to... A lot of pain and anguish. Therefore, spirit saying it's time for you to new, move into a new direction when it comes to creativity and or finances and career. That there will be a new partnership and or contract. And that you need to take your time to see what's on offer when it comes to a contract or relationship connection. Listen to your intuition. At some point, you're going to get the clarity you've been waiting for. That one path is empty and that another path is where you need to be headed towards. So definitely, it's important that you guys know that for a lot of people, all of the battles have ended in the month of August. The clarity has come and now in September, we're going to be exposed to new directions. And I feel this is especially true for you guys. There's a new direction on offer waiting for you in the distance. And I do believe this could very well be a financial direction, a contract when it comes to career and finances. Let's take a look here at your love and romance energies with the Angel Answers deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, Spirit Guides and Angels, please bless those born under the Sun sign, Moon sign, and or Rising sign of Scorpio for the month of September 2017. Love and romance energies. Okay, well we had a couple jump out right away. And the first card is trust. 
Spirit's asking for you to trust in them, that you will be guided in the right direction. And they're asking for you to look for a sign. Again, these are the Angel Answers deck by Doreen Virtue, and I'm going to clarify by using the Rider Weight deck next. As we go through each step of the reading before us, for clarification, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Scorpio with love and romance messages for September 2017. Okay, Spirit's asking that you trust in them when it comes to a person who is not opening up, who is not sharing, who is not sharing not only their emotions, but their money. Look for a sign when it comes to someone or something at a distance. Could be a financial opportunity. Could be other people. In your thoughts position, Spirit's trying to tell you that you are ready with the justice energies to cut away from a situation that okay. once was and to find balance in your life once again. You're ready if it comes to having to go to court to make some final decisions um, when it comes to someone who won't open up and share their money. In your foundation, Spirit's asking that you get some more information when it comes to what transpired in the past. Maybe there's something you're missing that's going to help you as you move forward. So just think back through this tumultuous connection is what I'm feeling that led you into a situation where there's justice and look for a sign from a distance because that's going to guide you I believe in the right direction. You guys might have been confused about a connection for a while with someone and Spirit was trying to have you listen to your intuition. They see that you've spent three of your four swords in battle and they want you to listen before using your final sword. They want you to connect out to others and wait for a sign and to trust that they're going to guide you when it comes to someone who hasn't been opening up. You're ready to be able to move forward and yet You have the Three of Cups. Maybe some of you are still wanting to move forward with this person and Spirit's trying to slow you down so that you can get more information as to why they wouldn't up, open up. And the reason they're not opening up is because they're keeping secrets of a third person. In the next four to six weeks, you have control over improving your health. Know that your health will improve when you can finally release yourself from the person who won't open up. When you can finally follow a sign in a new direction and understand that it's just not the right time to be in connection with this person because this person isn't being honest. As you cut away from an old situation, your health is going to improve. Spirit is still trying to tell you that meditation is what's gonna bring you the answers you need. Meditation is about focusing on what you want moving forward. Asking directly and clearly about what it is you want to come into your path. Praying for that all day long in your thoughts, quietly to yourself, asking spirit to bring you the attention you need and desire. The respect you need and desire. That's what this is all tied to. Spirit wants to bring you acknowledgement for who you truly are for the heart you have within, for the devotion you've wasted with regards to someone who took advantage. In your hopes and fears, you're hoping, some of you, not all of you, that a year from now, you can leave troubled waters behind. So maybe you, some of you are listening to your intuition and you're trying to make a plan to move forward and to get away from a situation. And Spirit's saying, it's not the right time right now. There are things you need to know but that at some point, I feel like some of you are going to be celebrating situation that happens uh, in court because you've been meditating and you will finally be able to release yourself, move on and find happiness in the near in a year from now or within a year from now in your outcome position. Spirit saying it's not worth battling with this person anymore. 
put away your sword, slow down your horse, get a drink of water, and think about the fact that Spirit's telling you that there's something much better for you as you move ahead. What they are also trying to say with the card representing the entire read is that everything is happening according to perfect timing. So in the meantime, figure out how to hand all your worries to spirit and then how to meditate on what it is exactly that you want as you move forward. As you leave things behind, what is it you want moving forward? Spirit's saying as you are letting these swords fall out of your back, then they can uh, uh, arrange the energies so that everything will happen in perfect timing. Each of these swords represents pain, anguish, frustration, worry, and experiences of the past. But these swords made you a much stronger person. And now Spirit's asking for you to let the memories of those swords fall away. In the next three to six months, it's important to communicate clearly to those around you. You may have been covering your heart. You may have been afraid to look at the situation. You may have been afraid to open into a new direction, but Spirit's saying to take off the blindfolds and to cut away from a path that was. Step into a new path. Find out the information you need to know because of the past and learn that it's all about communicating clearly with others. You will get what you want if you communicate clearly about what it is you want to do, where it is that you are going. Some of you just need to meditate about abundance about happiness, about a beautiful home life with friends and family and fulfillment when it comes to money. If you continue to meditate on that, you will definitely be successful and you will be able to release yourself from the pain and anguish of the past. Spirit saying, take the steps here on earth to move forward and we will take the steps to line up your energy so that everything happens according to perfect timing. Now in a three card summary to my left with the same Rider weight deck, the first card is representing the first week and a half to two weeks for you Scorpios from when you watch this video. You may start out kind of wondering how you're going to work out things when it comes to career and finances. Know that you have the energies of the hanged man card to look at things from every perspective before making any choices. You may not know what is being hidden from you when it comes to career and finances, but know that the moon is uh, trying to shine on that path for you to bring you clarity. And that's why you just need to wait and observe a little bit. Eventually, you'll have gone full circle with the situation. You'll have understood what the lesson is that you needed to learn on a path. And now you can confidently step into this new world path as a new person. You will receive finances enough to take care of maybe, I feel, children or family. And you will be able to manifest brand new beginnings. You will have the energies to put an end to something from the past and to realize that love was never on offer or going to be accepted by someone that you were hoping for. In the next two to three weeks, some of you are going to be using the energies of the King of Wands to take the steps that are necessary to accomplish new things in your path. These new things are being blessed by the Wheel of Karma and are moving fortune into your favor. Not only are they moving fortune into your favor, but the universe is offering a new path when it comes to love. There will be an overflowing cup of love, prosperity, finances, and fulfillment coming your way. Again, if the love offer is small or very, very new, you need to be clear with others about your boundaries, what you will and will not accept, and that you're not afraid to cut someone out of your path if they don't abide by those boundaries. Be strong when it comes to love. The High Priestess is trying to guide you in the right direction and is trying to help you to leave issues behind that left you unfulfilled. In the next four to six weeks, some of you may be feeling down and sad and depressed and poor. And again, Spirit's saying it's time to understand that you need to meditate. Hope, wish, and pray on a star. And know that you have the star card energies to manifest a new path. To get away from someone who has been sneaky and dishonest. Here is the new path. 
It's being offered by the universe and it is a new path when it comes to career and finances. You guys will be finding yourself in a position of leadership or business ownership. Either way, in a position of financial independence or prosperity. All because you took the steps to leave a situation behind that was not good for you. All right, so to close the reading, I'm going to pull some cards from the Mary, uh, Messages from Your Angels Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue. So we can receive some spiritual messages to send you guys into September with. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Scorpio for September 2017. Spiritual messages, please. And the first message is... Message is for the representing the first week and a half to two weeks you guys have aurora you are flying high right now which may threaten others but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example some of you are going to use the energies of the strength card that you had received earlier to step away or in this picture to fly away from situations that kept you trapped and by doing so it's that strength that you are going to Open the eyes of those around you. You're going to teach others by your example of how to be strong, how to leave unfulfillment in the past and to go forward into your future in search of fulfillment and to show how you can grow from and through struggles. In the next week and a half to two weeks, you have Grace and Antoinette. To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So as you're feeling strong, as you're taking the steps on your own behalf, Scorpios, you're doing what is best for you, make sure that those around you understand why you're doing it, that it's because of your inner strength that you are going from a negative situation into a positive situation. Help for others to understand why you have to do what you have to do and um, listen to whatever is bothering them as you go through this process so that you can help others to be strong also. In the next four to six weeks in your outcome position, you have Angel Chantel who says, new romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and to receiving love. So what I'm feeling is if some of you are going through a hard time in your relationship, uh, stand strong and do what needs to be done to move forward. And then maybe, just maybe, this other person will start to understand what you're doing. For some of you, you may have had to walk away from a situation um, and you're having to help those around you heal and understand your viewpoint could be family, could be kids, could be whatever, but um, that it's your inner strength and your fulfillment that you're receiving from being strong that is why you chose to move away from things that weren't good for you. And if you're looking for romance, uh, for some of you, you can renew romance in your marriage, but if you have left a situation behind and gone through a divorce, know that uh, a new romance is going to be coming in. It may take up to a year, but in the meantime, if there's any healing that needs to be done, it may be a good time to just heal within yourself and or heal with the family and get yourselves to a good healthy level before welcoming another person into your path. All right, so lots of changes in the month of September for Scorpios. If you need a personal reading, I'm available at josiek42 at gmail.com. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you again soon. Take care and God bless.